Hey guys, Chaco IT here. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to set up Windows Media Center on both the, your computer and your Xbox 360. This will allow you guys to uh, play movies from your computer and stream them through your network over to your 360, making it kind of like a like a pirate's galore here. So if you have like downloaded movies, let's say you can uh, play them. Well, you, you don't have to transfer them onto your 360. You just use Windows Media Center to play them there. And it's actually very simple, so uh, let's get started. Next thing is that depending on what you're using, if you're uh, using high definition video or normal definition video, you're going to have to choose, uh, like let's say here, I have my, I don't have my laptop connected to, to my router over there. I just have it uh, wireless, wi connected wirelessly through uh, wireless G, 802.11G. And uh, this allows me to stream um, standard definition video at about 24 to 30 frames per second uh, and it's very smooth. But if you're running high definition video upwards of 1080 by 720p by 720p anyways up up there um well you're gonna have to either use a uh, connect through through ethernet or if you have wireless n and you're really close then you can use use that too also uh another thing is that you have to have windows 7 or windows vista I'll teach you how to get the new Windows Media Center and Windows Vista in a second. I'll just leave a link on the under bar there and you just go click on it and install it. But uh, once you have all that set up, it's as simple as Pi, if you may. What you want to go ahead and do is go into your computer, hit start, then all programs, then up here you should have Windows Media Center. Click that. Alright, that's Windows Media Center for you there. Now what you want to do is turn on your Xbox. Uh, just turn on your Xbox. Here, I have to turn it on like this. Then uh, go on the channel on your TV. Let everything load. My Xbox takes a little bit to load because it's a little bit messed up. That's why I have it out like that. There we go. That's the noise. And go in. Okay. Now, as you can see, I'm logged in here. But if your Xbox, you don't have to be logged in to anything to do this. All you have to do is nothing really. Then what you want to do from my Xbox is scroll down to Windows Media Center. I will load up a bit. Right now what it's trying to do is find any computers that are connected to the network that are running Windows Media Center. It's, it should have found mine by now, but because of the fact that they're not paired or connected to each other at all, it's just going to take its time and then it's going to take it into a different menu. In a second here. Come on. There we go. Now, it tells you that it can't open your Windows Media Center PC. That's okay. All you have to do is scroll down and hit set up a new connection now you hit continue then it's gonna check your network and then it's it gives you a key right so when you go back to your computer you go down to tasks then you go to add extender hit enter then just hit next then there's the you put that that eight digit key inside here so the eight digit key would be five four five eight five four five four. It will always be different by the way. Hit next and then it just starts configuring it. Then you just hit continue on your Xbox. And now it will start to sync. As you can see here, you you heard that that means that it's a, the Xbox is connecting. It's installing the Xbox and there it is. Media Center Extender. The Xbox it's just loading right now while this installs it. Alright. There you go. 
Now you want to wait for this tier to finish before we continue to do anything. As you can see, Windows Media Center is loaded up on the Xbox. Alright, come on. Connect, connect, connect. From here, you could already start moving things around, I think. Yeah, on the Xbox, Windows Media Center is a bit slow. I don't know why, but... Uh, and then it's going to ask you on the PC if you want to tune your network. Tuning your network just basically uh, sets the settings for however your network is or whatnot. But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to hit no, next, and I'm done. All right. Now, before you can start playing movies on your Xbox, thing, uh, one thing you have to do is make sure that all the movies that you have are in the public folder. This would be on start on your computer, C, users, and public. You want to make sure to put all your movies or videos inside public videos. As you can see, I already have a couple movies in there. And uh, you leave them on public videos. This will this will basically tell the Xbox that you can go into that folder, the public folder, and check if there's anything there. If you put as your uh, any like as your user, like let's say Shaq, see how it has that lock? Cause it's not it's not a shared folder. Public is a shared folder. So on your Xbox, what you, what you want to do is you go down to tasks, then you hit settings. Then you go down to media libraries. And then you have a couple options here. You can import several things. You can import music, pictures, videos, recorded TV, and movies. This will all play on your Xbox and on your TV like at a really high volume. So I, I, I've used this for my music and it works really well. But in this case, we're going to do movies. Then you hit next. Add a folder to the library. Yes. And you hit next. On another computer. Then you hit on another computer. Then next. And then it's gonna, it looks at all the users, right? It looks at the, at first, this is the computers. As you can see, Shack PC, that's my computer there. So you're gonna hit A to continue. All right, now you have uh, these two options, print and users. I'm gonna hit users. Then you have Shack PC and public. As you can see, my normal user, which is just Shack, is not showing up here because it's not a shared folder. So all you're going to have to do is just click on the empty box and it's going to come up with a check. Then you go down and hit and move your analog stick to next. Hit A to continue. Yes, use the lo these locations. Then finish. Now you want to hit B to go back. Go up to movies. And there you go. So you can see I have a couple movies in here. Let me just test one just for the F of it. Let's see. Um, 2012. Resume. I was watching it earlier. That's why. And there you go. Also, another thing. Whenever you're running this, this this thing never close windows media center or else the windows media center on the xbox is just gonna crash and nothing's gonna happen <laughs> all right so uh thanks for watching guys what i'm gonna do is uh i'm gonna leave a, a link to anybody that's running vista and i'm also going to leave a list of all the supported formats that windows media center supports and um if you have any other questions just leave them in the comments there if i helped you out why don't you up this and uh subscribe doesn't cost you anything i'm gonna be making more videos like these soon so uh thanks for watching guys peace out